electric car, Nissan's answer to what they believe will be the future of automotive transportation. That's right, Nissan has been working on battery technology for the last 17 years, and they're now finally ready to make use of that technology in a fully electric plug-in vehicle. Although the vehicle isn't slated to be released until late next year, Nissan invited us out to give us a preview of their progress so far. Now, if the vehicle you see here looks somewhat familiar, you're right. It's a Japanese spec Nissan Cube. However, this body is merely a shell for the prototype. According to Nissan, the final design of the vehicle will be much more dramatic. Underneath the Cube body, however, the electric propulsion internals are almost production ready. We caught up with Chief Product Planner, Mark Perry, to have him answer some of our questions. Nissan's made the decision to mass market a pure battery powered electric vehicle, so zero emission all the time. A little bit about the car. About compact car size, room for five adults, 100 miles of pure zero emission range. All the crash test, airbags, safety equipment that you'd expect from any car from Nissan, plus all those amenities, cruise control, stereo systems, GPS navigation. So things that, it's a real car that you could use in your, in your everyday driving patterns, but your zero emission all the time. Uh, we're going to recommend that you use a 220 volt circuit. So if you have an electric dryer in your home, it's that same circuit. So 220 volts and 40 amps. Now it can charge with 110, just you know, your no normal wall plug, but it takes a little bit longer. That 220 uh, volt program we're talking about, you could charge at home in about four hours. The vehicle that we have here today is a prototype in that the mechanicals are correct. So the right battery pack, the right motor, the right inverter, but the actual vehicle design, the exterior, it's just a box. It's not the final, it's not the final execution. And, uh, and one of the things Nissan's been working very hard at in the last eight months or so is forming partnerships with interested utility companies, state, local governments, and regional planning groups. So the markets that we're launching in have really three characteristics. First, interested consumers. So do we have people that are really are, are wanting sustainable transportation, they want green power, they want vehicles with zero emissions, so consumers number one. Number two, public. So that's the, whether it's the governor's office, the mayors, the regional planning authorities, so we can work together to figure out the process because part of the process is permitting an inspection of your electrical system in your house. So we need to make that smooth and easy. Plus there's some awareness going on. And then third, the private sector, the utility company, needs to be supportive of course, but then also the major employers in the area who have you know, employee campuses, because what's a car do every day? It goes from home to work, work back to home, maybe a few chores in and around, but really we want to get home charging and workplace charging all worked out so it's easy and simple for consumers to actually use this car every day. Well, a couple of things. First off, I mean, whether you agree or not, I mean, CO2 reduction is a reality. We have to reduce CO2. So here's a vehicle that's zero emission. But how do we do that? We do that with electric power. So now you have a situation of energy costs, electricity versus gas. The math works out. The gasoline would have to settle at $1.10 a gallon for, the, for this not to make economic sense for you as a consumer. So I don't think gas is going to go down to $1.10 anytime soon. <laughs> so we're okay. The closer it gets to 3 and $4, of course, the better off it gets. So your electricity costs will always be less to run the car than gasoline will be, even as low as $1.10. So from a consumer, you're zero emission all the time. We're not asking you to pay a price premium in your running costs, your actual energy use, whether it's gas or electricity, will always win on the electric side. So cheaper for you to be zero emission. A couple of things about an electric car, of course, torque. So the immediate kind of off the line acceleration is there because an electric motor, the torque is immediate. Uh, no noise. <laughs> These cars are quiet. We basically hear a little bit of wind noise and tire noise, and that's about it. You don't hear, you don't hear engine sounds. Now, some people may miss that. Others may like the fact that it's quiet and very relaxing kind of driving experience. The other side benefit, of course, is you have a vehicle that is zero emission. You can expect it to arrive in 2010. Uh, we're actually going to release the design a little bit later this year. 